Okay, so all you do is just the same thing you would do with parachute cord or whatever. You know, you've got your cord sleeve at each end of your poncho. You just feed this cord through there, put a weight on it like a small pocket knife or whatever. And once it's all the way through there, then you're going to have an eye out here like this on one end. And what you're going to do is just put the end, the other end through the eye, and just pull on it. What you're doing is creating a gathered end hammock, which is what most hammocks are, is a gathered end hammock. So you want the point where it gathers tight to be where the two sides come together because it just makes a little makes just a little nicer hang without any twist in the hammock or whatever all right so now so that's it so the rest of the cord is what goes between trees and what you tie around a tree okay so that's all there is to to doing these so let me just show you right up here. Now I've got that little device on my cords right here that I'm messing with, but I'm going to tie a knot in this side and just show you that. So if I want to tie a knot in here, and even using Amsteel cord, uh, the farther between trees you do want to have a little bit of you want to have a little curvature I mean that's just that's just the way it, it is if you read Derek Hansen's book on hanging hammocks you know you should have a little curvature in it so anyway so you just go around the tree tie yourself a knot in there I do a couple half hitches something like that right there okay so that's one end now we just go on to the tree to the other side and we do that one so now on this side I'm going to use my little gadget here and you can make one of these yourself thought about I might put up some info on the website or I don't know something and it's just uh, it's just a piece of aluminum from the hardware store and you just need a hacksaw, some kind of a cutoff tool, or whatever you want. Alright, so, so the deal with that is, see, you just, you just hook it, okay? And instead of tying a knot, you just roll a loop, which is essentially a half hitch. We're done, that's it. If I need to adjust it, I just tighten it, loosen it, and re-secure it. I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. I'm done. All right, I should have showed you my first, uh, when, I, when I tied off that, in, or secured that end, it was about this high. And then I lean into it to kind of, because you got to tighten up the gathered ends, tighten up the knot over there and all that sort of thing. So now it's down. I like to be about chair height, so when you sit in it, your knees, your knee comes and you're about horizontal in your lap. So, so you see right here, and this is what Derek Hansen, if you read his book on hammocking, he's got probably the most extensive book on hammock information there is. It's about this thick. <laughs> anyway, so I'm, he he recommends this height and I've I used to pitch higher and since I read his book I like I like hanging this high right here okay so I'm good now so now so now all I gotta do is get inside I'm hung I'm good to go so that's how easy it is. Like I say, these trees are about 20 feet apart, thereabouts. 
Again, it's going to depend a little bit on how big the trunk diameter is. You know, like I could, I could go a little bit farther apart than what they are because I have a little bit of cord over here left, but on average, this is probably about your max 18 to 20 feet or something. Put your hammock in there. So, anyway, so that's simple. And like I say, I got no stretch really in this am steel blue cord so once I tighten my knots and my gathered end up I, I got no more stretch I just get in I'm good to go and I didn't say I didn't even have to readjust any knots or anything like that so it's very simple works really well now our our premium setup is the quick connect which is Am steel blue cords with eyes in both ends and these are pre-installed in your poncho so you're not feeding I mean it's the simplest thing ever so you're not feeding everything every time through there to hang your hammock it's already there you just pull the loops out hang them up then you got the daisy chain webbing with the with a woven loop every three inches and it comes with some aircraft aluminum toggles so there's no knots no there's nothing I mean it's really simple but all that right there is heavier and more bulky than the am steel with I so if you're really pinching the weight or the bulk or whatever then that can give you a little bit better way to go it's also less expensive so you know it's up to you like I tied a knot over there I used my little whatever I don't know what to call it my little device over here I mean you saw it wasn't hard to tie the knot over there it wasn't hard to clip the little device in over here so I mean it's just another option it's a step up from the parachute cord it's stronger, no stretch, yada yada. Greater distance between trees. Now I'm gonna do this setup over here. I've got a couple trees that's really close together and we're gonna hang it up over there and I'll show you that. Okay. So when you look at these two right here, <laughs> I'm actually probably a little bit narrower, a little bit shorter than the length of my poncho because my poncho is a PSSLE so it's eight feet long I'm probably seven feet between these trees so that being the case I'm going to I seldom pitch anything this close, but let's just say that's what you got to work with, you know. I think, I don't know. Okay. So let's just see what we got here. Okay. I don't know. I really don't want to go too high because I got no, I've already pre stretched this on the other setup as far as stretching out the knots and all that sort of thing so I may need to go I probably need to hang a little lower than I normally would because there's no there's really no arch in anything 
I don't like pitching above backbreakers either, stones like this. You know, if you do something a little wrong and the thing busts loose on you and your tailbone hits that, not a good thing. Okay, make sure I'm, it's like I'm secure. I usually like to, before I get in it, I, I really, I like to do this. Just to, if I put a little bit of weight on it, kind of lets me know that everything's secure. So, all right. So now, we just get in it. So here I am, the eight foot poncho, about, oh, I don't need to yell, an eight foot poncho, or a, yeah, eight foot poncho, about seven feet between trees. I can hang, I can hang it up right here just fine. I'm good to go. It's not bad. Now personally I think it'd be a little more comfortable if the trees were another foot or two apart just because I got, you know, I got no, I don't know, it's just a tighter fit. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to say about it, but I mean my arc right here is all taken in the, I guess what I'm saying is you always want to have a little bit of a curvature. Um, it de-stresses your hang for one reason and it also gives you uh, some people say they want to lay perfectly flat like a bridge hammock I've made that we used to make an adapter thing to do that with these but I don't like laying in a bridge hammock that's I don't I don't like it at all I like to have I like a little bit of curvature I think that's good but in this situation see all my curvature is taken up with the hammock ex itself that I'm laying in, it's a little nicer to take some of the curvature in the cordage. That way, your hammock is a little flatter lay. But given that I'm hanging from trees that are closer than the length of my hammock, I have no choice but to take it all in the hammock. But as you can see, I mean, it's perfectly doable. I would sleep here just fine, no problem. So anyway, that's a little bit about cordage and hanging hammocks and particularly using our Amsteel Blue with Eye to hang your poncho as a hammock. Perry Peacock, Wilderness Innovation. I'm gonna get back to my HQ uh, hot tent to work on editing this video tonight. 